glad you're here. Well, we're about ready to repressurize the chamber. Jack, please seal the vent doors behind you before attempting to activate the system. Hello again, Jack. Jack, we will need to seal the vent doors before we continue. Pressure seal verified. We can now cycle the flow control from the main console. Warning. Oxygen levels critical. What was that? Nothing. It means we should hurry. Let's not stand on ceremony, Jack. Activate the life support system. Flow control open and stable. Exercise caution around vent openings during gas infusion. Oh, thank God for that. Pressure levels rising. Oxygen outflow higher than anticipated. Attempting to compensate. Warning. Pressure unstable. What happened? Unknown. Attempting to compensate. Oh, pressure levels falling. There's a breach. Can you locate it? I'm unable to pinpoint a specific disturbance. Meaning what exactly? Meaning the ship's so riddled with holes he can't find the leak. If you keep ramping up the pressure, you could tear a hole in the hull. Apollo! Shut it down. Unable to maintain atmosphere. Shit. We need to find a sector that we can repressurize. The bridge is the most heavily reinforced section of the vessel. It likely survived the bombardment. How far? The bow of the ship. I'm opening the bulkhead into the main gangway. I have redirected your fury transport to meet us. Warning. Oxygen levels critical. Return to habitat. Better hurry. Select your destination. Destination, U.S. Australia. Punch Bridge. it. Preparing for Please thruster ignition. Please hold Just go! Activating thrusters. Apollo, are you certain the bridge can withstand pressurization? As certain as I can be. The bridge is one of the most structurally sound areas on the entire ship. I would estimate our chances of success are roughly one in three. One in three, huh? Well, I'd really hate to have to live on those odds. Unfortunately, Captain Rhodes, you do have to live on those odds. That was sarcasm, Apollo. She was joking. This hardly seems like an appropriate time for levity. Never mind. Just get us to the bridge. Jack, you... You caught my joke. It was a good job, Liv. Try and stay focused. We're nearly there. Apollo. Another EM fluctuation. They're increasing in magnitude. We can 
deal with the fluctuations later. Right now, our only focus is helping to keep Liv alive. Agreed. Approaching command deck. Reducing speed. door up ahead will take us to the command deck. Olivia, wake up. What? Well, yeah. I, I'm, I'm here. I'm awake. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. I, I just... Just give me a minute. You go ahead and lead the way. I'll be right behind you. Warning. Oxygen levels critical. Return to habitat... Shut up! O, oh, two, down to one percent. We need to get you to the bridge. All right. Get the door. Come on, let's go. Liv? Liv, wake up. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm here. Just a bit lightheaded. The bridge is just up ahead. I don't see any spores on this deck. No, no visible contamination of any kind. Well, that's... That's got to be a good sign, right? Not necessarily. The biomass primarily spreads through the ventilation system. Until we can inspect the vents, we cannot assume this deck is safe. Apollo, I... I really hope you weren't the one in charge of morale on this ship. We will need authorization from a command crew member to open the bridge airlock. We don't have time for protocol, Apollo. I'm sorry, but we cannot access the bridge without voice... Just unlock the damn door, Apollo. Voice authorization accepted. Airlock controls released. Liv? Olivia? Yeah. Sorry. I'm good. Just hold on. It won't be long now. Captain Rhodes, I suggest you take your place at the command station. And please try to remain conscious. Yeah. Now, Jack, in order to restore atmospheric pressure, I will need to rewrite the bridge logic core. You will find it near the forward console. Core located. The rewrite procedure is identical to the one we performed in life support. Understood. I'll move the core to the overwrite slot. Core in place. Proceeding with scan. Rewrite successful. Copy. Returning core.
core locked in. Do you have access? I now have full control of all essential bridge functions. How long will it take to repressurize the cabin? Accessing environmental controls. Stand by. Warning. Oxygen reserves depleted. Return to habitat immediately. Check. My... my O2 tank zeroed out. It's going to be all right, Liv. You're going to make it. I'm scared, Jack. I know. Just hold on. I'm going to help you. Oh, God. I can't. I can't breathe. Apollo, we need life support now. I'm afraid we have another complication. What is it? I'm detecting trace amounts of the biocontaminants in the bridge ventilation system. Any attempts to repressurize will flood the bridge with poisonous spores and kill the captain. Tell me what to do. The bridge environmental system consists of four air vents. You'll need to inspect each one. Incinerate any spores you find with your reactive cutter. Got it. to stay with me. Keep your eyes open. I can't. I can't. Yes, you can. Focus. Oh, God. This isn't... This isn't happening. Please, Liv. I need you to stay with me. Jack. Hey. Hold on. Just hold Jack. on, Liv. Consciousness. The vents are clear. Re-engage life support, now! Accessing environmental controls. Restoring atmospheric pressure. Oxygen outflow, nominal. Apollo? Power integrity is holding steady. It's working. Atmospheric pressure restored. Habitable zone established. Breathable atmosphere detected. I need to open Liv's helmet now. Liv? Olivia. Negative respiration. She's still not breathing. Please. Liv, wake up. Ventricular fibrillation. She's going into cardiac arrest. What can I do? There's an emergency defibrillator. There, in the medical locker. By the end. Apollo, the medical locker is sealed. You should be able to cut it open. I've got it. Quickly, connect the defibrillator to the side of the medical council. the electrode panels directly to the medical council. The current will pass straight through.
posterior electrode in place. Anterior electrode secure. You need to pump the handle to build up a charge. When the power level reads blue, press the hollow button to administer the shock. Charging. Clear. No response. Again. Charging. Clear. Negative. Still in V-fit. Again. Jack. Clear. Jack. She's gone. No. Again. Please live. Don't do this. Clear. Clear. Jack. <clears throat> I have sinus rhythm. She's alive. Jack. <clears throat> Jack? You're going to be all right, Liv. Everything's going to be okay. Blood oxygen levels returning to normal. Heart rate 64 BPM. Ugh. She's stabilizing. I feel like death. Is that supposed to be funny? You frightened me. I thought I'd lost you. So you are going to miss me. <laughs> Hello, Captain Rhodes. I am relieved to see you are not dead. Thanks. You, uh... You wouldn't let me out of this thing? Due respect, Captain. Protocol requires you remain... I do what she says, Apollo. Thank you. I'd like it noted for the record that I am strongly Sir, opposed noted. to this decision. Now let me out. Oh. Are you sure you're all right? Just, just a little sore. I'll manage. Apollo, what's happening? Excessive damage to the power grid has triggered a rapid destabilization of the main reactor. What does that mean? If we don't find a way to stabilize the reactor, the containment field will collapse and destroy the ship. Options? There are a number of solutions I could attempt, but only one holds a reasonable chance of success. Not one like this, am I? We could execute a faster than light jump. The amount of energy expended by an FTL jump may be enough to stabilize the reactor. Can the ship survive an FTL jump in its current state? Unknown. You'll understand if I'm not completely sold on this idea. In truth, that's not actually our biggest problem. You sure? Because it really sounds like it from where I'm sitting. The last time this ship performed a faster than light jump resulted in radical temporal displacement. Wait, you're... You're saying if we jump, we're going to time travel. I'm not certain, but it is possible. This is insane. The energy buildup is accelerating. We don't have much time. We're doing this. It's worth the risk. Yeah, I mean, what's the worst that could happen? The FTL drive collapses mid-jump creating a singularity that instantly tears us to pieces on the molecular level. Apollo. Was I not supposed to answer that? Screw it! If I'm gonna die, I might as well do it going faster than light. Very well. Before we can execute the jump, we will need to redirect all available power to the FTL drive. This requires manually powering down all non-essential systems. I will walk you through the procedure. Or we could just break them. Well... Yes. I suppose that would also work. That's... That's sort of brilliant, actually. Reactor destabilization. Apollo, how do we access the primary system components? Use the engineering station to open the maintenance vents. All right, I'll expose the components. Jack, get ready to cut through as many of those systems as you can. Got it. There. Panels open. Pick a system and start cutting. On it. I think it's working, Jack. Try another.
defensive counter. We're getting close. Keep cutting. Taking a reading now. Live. It's Saru. No. I'm afraid Jack is correct, Captain. We are currently in geosynchronous orbit over Saturn. Apollo, what is the current date? Astrometric positioning would suggest we have arrived sometime in the mid 26th century. We jumped forward 400 years. Approximately. So this is your time. To put it simply, yes, this is my time. What happened here, Apollo? You are looking at the aftermath of a skirmish this ship was involved in prior to our meeting each other. Who are you fighting? Why were... What is that? Contact. Incoming vessel. More trouble? Negative. USN transponders. They're friendly. USN Australia, this is transport cruiser Juno. Do you copy? Liv, you should answer them. I should? You are the captain. I say again, Astraea, do you read? Uh, yes, we read you, Juno. This is Olivia Rhodes. Captain Olivia Rhodes. Copy that, Captain. We have a solid lock on your signal. We're also reading a tactical AI on board and a... Wait. Well, that can't be right. This is... Jack. Captain? What? Captain Jack. Say again, Estrella. We didn't copy. Go on, say it. Oh. This is... Captain Jack. Two captains on one ship? <sighs> Must be quite a story there. Just sit tight. Rescue team's inbound. ETA, ten minutes. Understood. Estrella, out. So, we're stuck 400 years in the future. It would seem so, yes. Well, approximately. No way to get home. None. Okay. So tell me, what's the proper protocol for this situation? There are no established protocols for this particular scenario. Well then, guess we'll just have to make it up as we go. We can do that. <laughs> 